So I just took a trip to Corpus Christi, Texas to do a little fishing. Uh, I went and visited my buddy Johnny. Uh, nice guy, let me stay at his house for a couple nights. Can't complain there. Um, what kind of people let you stay at their house? Uh, only good people, right? So, uh, we went and had a great time. We actually fished for quite a few days. Uh, one of the first days I didn't actually bring a, a camera, so I didn't get to film it, but I got a few fish. I got a couple specks, uh, speckled trout in case uh, you're not familiar with the area. I call them specks there. Uh, but they're basically a sea trout. Um, got one red, good size, uh, but not big enough to keep. So uh, threw him back, but I had a great time. If you're not familiar with the area, uh, Corpus Christi is a city uh, right by um, the water right there, right on the Gulf of Mexico, right in Texas. And then you've got Padre Island, which is uh, basically kind of like a reef almost that kind of comes out. And, you know, we, we basically uh, we'll go out there and, and do a little fishing. Um, inshore, in the, in the kind of I would call it maybe a bay. Uh, there's a lot of good inshore fishing, um, and even right out, right past the the reef, uh, basically there's there's good fishing there too. I used to actually work on the boats down that that way in a, a city right north of that called Port Aransas, where I would go take people out and catch some tuna and shark and you know basically offshore fish, not inshore. But I did a lot of inshore fishing while I was there. Mostly conventional, uh, like right above here, you can see, i got my conventional rods. Um, but I did a lot of fly fishing there too. Uh, we tried to do some fly fishing. I got to do it in the first day. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my, my rod. But it was just too windy the second day when we went out. Way too windy for a fly rod, so I decided to do some conventional. Anyway, um, basically we... the. The day, uh, the second day when I brought my, my camera with me, we first stopped at a spot to do some flounder fishing. Uh, they just weren't in. Basically, there was a tropical storm that came in. Um, we actually, I was there for a couple days, actually. The first day was clear, kind of windy, but not that bad. But then a tropical storm came in and started just dumping rain and lightning on us. So we, we didn't get to go for about two days. And once that cleared up, then we went back out. Uh, went to try for some flounder. I don't know if they left or what, but we fished that spot before and usually do pretty well. We just weren't getting anything. We fished it for about 10-15 minutes and that's usually a good uh, enough time to see if they're gonna actually catch. Or if we're gonna actually catch if they're there and they just, there was nothing. Uh, plus, we're fishing on the bottom. It was really tough to keep that that uh, fly, or not fly, but the, the lure on the bottom. We had, we don't usually use a very heavy weight uh, for the flounder because they don't they don't really like a lot of really hard bouncing um, So we usually use something kind of light, but because of that wind it was just basically keeping it up off the bottom We couldn't get it down. So we decided to move and try for some specs at the next spot and man it, They did really well. We caught uh, I think a total of four that day the first day I, I caught like uh, quite a few uh, maybe not quite as many as four but again, we're not fishing for very long. I think we were there for only about maybe an hour before it got really too dark to fish. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't get to fi uh, film the whole thing because it was just too dark for the camera to pick up. I don't have any kind of nighttime cameras, so.
as you can see, uh, we got quite a few. I got I got three. My buddy Johnny got one. Um, and then we decided to head back. It was already 7:30. We wanted barbecue um, and eat some of our catch. So. see here we did actually get to barbecue over at mesquite barbecue he's got a uh, really cool chiminea type thing and basically we cooked them on the half shell and uh, really really good so um, it was really good time while I was down there fishing and and I really do thank him for letting me stay at his house hopefully I can do more of these I haven't done any uh, action videos with me actually fishing it's just really tough to kind of do while I'm fishing Usually I need someone with me uh, to actually set up the camera and whatnot, but uh, I think I got the hang of it. Um, I've been kind of um, a little slow on getting these out there. It's just much easier to do a fly tying video, but I like to get out there and do some fly fishing videos. Um, I do fish quite a bit in my area. Uh, I fish the San Juan River, so hopefully soon we can I can get some videos out with that uh, type of fishing. So. Um, Stay tuned and hopefully hopefully I can get something out soon. So thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate all of my subscribers, every single one of you. Um, and if you're just tuning in and this is the first video of mine you've seen, please subscribe. If you like fly fishing, I mean that's what I do. I do a lot of fly tying. Um, and hopefully soon, like I'm saying, I hopefully I can do some fly uh, fishing videos, not just tying. So uh, check them out. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.